All right, uh, let's try to prove the fundamental theorem of calculus, part two. All right, here's the statement. Integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x is equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a, where capital F of x is any antiderivative of f of x. Before we get started, I'm going to assume that, that we have already established the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1, which states the derivative with respect to x of integral from a to x of f of t with respect to t is equal to f of x. I'll put the link in the description for the proof of this result, so if you're interested, uh, please check it out. All right, so I'm going to start with uh, letting g of x be integral from a to x of f of t with respect to t. By taking a derivative uh, using the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1, we have g prime of x is equal to f of x, which means that the g is an antiderivative of f of x, so we can write the capital f of x is equal to g of x plus c. Uh, because uh, uh, to any two antiderivatives of the same function differ only by a constant. Right? So now we can uh, start with the right hand side which is capital F of b minus capital F of a and the capital F of b is the same thing as g of b plus c minus capital F of A is the same thing as G of A plus C. So C minus C cancel each other out, so I'm going to grade them out. And also, if you look at the G of A, G of A is integral from A to A, so it is actually zero. So I'm going to grade that one out too. So we only have G of B, which is integral from A to B, F of T dt. All right? The only difference is that uh, I'm using t here, but the t is a dummy variable, so I'm going to replace it with x, right, so that, that it matches the statement. All right, therefore, we have integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x is equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a, where capital F of x is any antiderivative of f of x, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.